Hello everybody and welcome back to the Blossom Crochet tutorial channel. My name is Rebecca and in this tutorial I will be showing you how to do this beautiful mini v-stitch. So it's a nice close and closed stitch but you do still get some gaps in it as you can see. But it is just a really nice more closed version of the traditional v-stitch which I will just show you very quickly. So this is a traditional v-stitch one and you can see the holes in this are much bigger and much more noticeable but I just wanted you to be able to see the difference in the stitch. So that is a normal v-stitch. So it's a beautifully simple pattern and I will give you some tips about how to get these perfectly straight edges if you can see there I've got nice beautiful straight edges and also I will let you know how to change colour of course but if this is your first time watching one of my tutorials then please do like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on all of my weekly videos but let's just jump straight in for the mini v-stitch so for the tutorial I'm going to be using this Knitting Essentials DK and this is simply called Bright Pink and this is just from a UK shop called Poundland and I just liked the look of the colours in it so anyway let's just crack on. You can use absolutely any yarn and any size hook so just use whatever is recommended on the label of your selected yarn. So as always we're going to start off with our slip knot on our hook and for this mini v-stitch we are going to start with a foundation row and this foundation row can be as long as you want but just make sure that it is an even number so multiple of two basically so as long as it's an even number and remember the chain that you'll be doing will be the width of your project not the length so yarn over and pull through yarn over pull through and you're just going to create your foundation row as a multiple of two. So if you want to do that now, so here is my foundation chain. So we're going to work back along our foundation row now and we're going to be doing half trebles for the entirety of this project. So remember this is half treble in UK terms in the US this is your half double crochet. So we are going to do, so for the these mini V stitches it will always be half treble, chain one, half treble into the same stitch. So it's very very simple. So we're going to be working first and foremost into the fourth chain from the hook. So you never count this loop here. We start one, two, three, and four and in this fourth chain you're going to do a half treble so yarn over insert into that fourth chain yarn over and pull up and you'll have three loops on that hook and you're going to yarn over and pull through all of those loops and that is a half treble chain one and then back into that very same chain that you've just been working into, you'll do another half treble. So yarn over, insert in that same stitch, yarn over and pull up. And again, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And that has created your first little mini V just here. You're going to skip one chain on your foundation row. So you'll skip this next chain and then a half treble v-stitch into the next. So again, I'll just do this next one with you. Yarn over and insert, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through all three loops, chain one, and again, back into that same chain space, one more half treble, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through all three. And then again, you're going to continue that all the way along. So skip one chain and then half treble V-stitch in the next. Skip one, 
B stitch, skip one, B stitch and you're going to do that all the way along and then I will meet you when you get to your last two chains. So I've worked that all the way across now and I've got two chains left here at the end. We're going to skip one as normal but into this very end one we are just going to put one half treble crochet into that very final stitch. And that is your foundation row all set up now. So now we're going to turn our work around and then this row now, so row two that we're doing now is the row that you will repeat over and over again. So it is an extremely easy one row repeat pattern. So I don't particularly like chaining at the start of my new rows anymore because I don't like the gap that you get. So I personally like to do my starting stitch this way, but if you prefer chain two and just leave it at that. Um, but I'm going to insert my hook, whoops. So you've got, let me just move that working end. So you can see we've got all of our stitches along here but into this very first stitch here, so where I've got my working end right now, I'm going to, you just need to move that working end a little insert into that stitch, making sure you've got the whole of the stitch, yarn over and pull up, you'll have two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through both, and then you can see you've got two vertical sections now to the side of this stitch. You're going to go behind the one that's closest to your working end, yarn over and pull up, again two loops, yarn over, pull through both and that just gives us a taller stitch but without having the gap that the chain two would create so it's personal preference and at this point it might be worth if you're not sure on keeping your edges straight just to pop a little stitch marker into the top of that stitch that you've just created here and then when you work back along for your next row, you will know exactly where that final stitch needs to be placed. But for now, we're just going to move straight on. So you can see here now, we've got our V stitch from the last time. So we've got two half trebles with a chain one in the middle. So that chain one is the space that you will work your stitches into each time. So into that chain one space, you're going to put your next half treble V stitch. So yarn over, insert into your chain one space, yarn over and pull up and do your half treble, chain one and again back into that chain one space you'll put your next half treble. And then again look for your next two trebles for your V and your chain one space you will do your next V stitch, chain one and half treble and again look for your next V and work into the chain one space. So you're going to complete that all the way along and then when you get to the other end I will meet you in just a tick and we will finish off. Okie dokie, I'm just getting towards the other end again now, so I've stopped at this point so that you can see how to finish off. So I've got one more V stitch here to work into, you can see I've got my half trebles and my chain one space. So I will do a V stitch into that space. And the half treble again. And then you can see we've got this funny little dog leg bit here and you can see the top of the treble that we did on the previous row. If I just turn, take my hook out for one second. You can see here that there is the top of the treble stitch from the previous row. So we don't want to work into that one, we want to work into the chains at the side of that stitch. So you're going to do a half treble, so you're going to yarn over insert into the chains at the side, not into the top of that treble and then complete your half treble and that will just give you that nice straight edge that you see there. So that is the row that you will repeat 
but just bear in mind at this point if you wanted to do the stripes like in the original v-stitch blanket that I showed you at the beginning of the video if you want to change colour you would do it on that final stitch so I've just done done that there just so that I can demo to you how you would do that so you would yarn over so on your last stitch insert and yarn over and pull up you would stop with your three loops on your hook and excuse the contrasting colour here but I was just literally grabbing some scraps <laughs> and then you would grab your new colour pull it through all of those loops chain one but that wouldn't count as a stitch you would simply chain one and then turn your work and you're ready to start again so that was just a very quickly demo to you the colour change but I will just briefly show you now one more time how you will start off each and every row so let me just do that final stitch again so you will turn and into your very first stitch here where you've got your working end of yarn you will insert your hook through the whole of the stitch making sure to get the V yarn over and pull up yarn over pull through both and then the vertical part of the stitch again closest to your working end yarn over and pull up and yarn over pull through both and then again you're ready to work into your chain one spaces and create new V stitches in every single chain one stitch across and then finish off at the other end so as I said I will show you one final time finishing off your row I've just completed my final mini v-stitch into the v-stitch from the previous row and then we've got that funny stitch from the beginning of the last row so again if you've popped a stitch marker in you will easily be able to see where you need to put it so it almost looks like we've got two stitches here but this one here is the one that is the top of that treble so you don't want to be working into that one it is the next one along and you will do your half treble so if you've done the fat little stitches that I showed you then you will be able to work through a whole of a stitch however if you've chained two then just work through the top of the chain two so you'll finish with one half treble on its own so you can see now how it is going to work up and you're just going to repeat the row over and over again until your project is as long as you require it to be. But I really do hope that you've enjoyed this new tutorial on the mini v-stitch and stay tuned right to the end because YouTube will have a suggestion on a video of mine that you might like to watch and there is also um, a video that I have specifically chosen to pop a link to at the end if you're interested for borders and things. But that is it for this one and I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.